Hello, Maggie here, and welcome back to another episode of Top Tens. I have a little call as of this recording, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit off. But continuing on, an important character who's not a main goal will have to be you, Gutty. Operating in the background, making sure shit doesn't go well. And if she needs to make her presence in an incident that you know things are not so well. During the downtime, however, she can be quite a troll. Surprisingly, since she's the Yokasage, but looks can be certainly be deceiving. So, without further ado, let's begin the top 10 troll Yukari Toe pictures. Number 10. If you guys weren't wary, Marimachur and I don't go well together, I can certainly respect it, and anyone who enjoys good old nature, more power to you. But it just seems boring to me. To be fair, when you have a computer that has access to the internet, it's not the easiest thing to beat. Let's just show you another reason why I ain't the outdoor seas type. Bone appetite. While a pot of hand isn't exactly related to the outdoor, this still makes me not want to enjoy the outside. Now I can read you can mind here. Clearly not. But if I have to guess, he's probably repulsed by these ungodly combinations. Maybe a punch here and there, cool even things up. Just saying. Number 9. As you just saw the last picture, one way to fuck with people is to use Yukari's power to manipulate the boundary. It's obvious she's using her ability to the maximum to piss people off. But sometimes, to aggravate someone, it's not a bad idea to do it the old fashioned, non magical ways. I'm not gonna lie, I'm rather impressed. We all know how deadly and powerful Reimu can be, yet Yukari is standing right there, dangling money away just enough where Reimu can't reach her. Full respect right there. The Gap Yokai has no problem getting in your face and taunting you. And hell, Reimu is so tilted, she forgot she could fly. But to be fair, Yukari could fly if Reimu started to, so either way, Yukari wins. Unless Reimu runs just a fantasy seal at her which could end up very badly. Number 8. Growing up, I watch a lot of TV, that and video games. A lot of time spent on just two things, my parents weren't exactly proud of it, but whatever, it could have been worse. I think so, while doing those two activities, there was a time whenever I had this question popped into my mind. Well, I now figure it out, the answer for it. All this time, whatever my remote was missing, I just assumed I or my family had misplaced it. But nope, it was Yukari's fault. You're one sneaky son of a bitch. Number 7. After a long day of work, a nice way to relax would be gaming, eating, or sleeping. The holy trinity in my opinion, but sometimes you can't always get what you want. You got it, that's not cool bro. Not fucking cool. As if your powers weren't busted enough, but now you gotta pick on fairies? I know Chirino is the strongest and all that, but bloody chill man. What did the Ice Fairy do to deserve her pudding being gapped away? Just be thankful it wasn't Flandre, or else shit can have been really fucking messy. Number 6. Growing up, another hobby I had aside from gaming was trading card games. Specifically Yu-Gi-Oh! I got into that shit because of the anime air on TV. Due to that, I was stuck playing it for about 6 or 9 years. Good times, good times. While this next picture doesn't include the card game, it does involve another aspect of what I like about Yu-Gi-Oh! The collecting part. Yes! Collectible stickers! Sup, Ren. What are you doing? Nothing special. Ran, what are those things on your head? Now, I can appreciate the art of collecting. I mean, if you've seen my room before, you can easily tell I enjoy it. What I don't like, however, is throwing your shit on other people's stuff. Especially their clothes. As if that wasn't bad enough for Ran, she has Space Invader on her dress. Although, I don't believe Yukari was involved with that one, but still, nice to notice. Number 5. So Yukari's ability is to manipulate the boundary. It sounds fake, which is fucking is. 
But the fagginess of it is what gives its unique power the simply way we see it is Yukari, making the gaps from one place to another, breaking the boundary that was needed to traverse the area. Akio gives into more details of the possibilities. Yukari could use her power and it's terrifying. A power that can even destroy if I remember correctly. So let's see Yukari demonstrate this legendary ability. Not funny Yukari. Well shit, I'd be lying if I said this didn't impress me in some bit. For those not wary, Suika in Japanese is watermelon, which is why Yukari might have changed her only form. You may not find it funny Suika, but I certainly did. Number 4. Yukari is many things. Strong, intelligent, devious, an old hack, and so on. But the one thing I never felt from her was scary. I probably so given what she capable of, but you know, I haven't done shit to her or Gensokyo, so I should be fine in that aspect. Although if Yukari had appeared like this during my childhood, I would have shit my pants endlessly. Till this day, there are only two movies I can name you that have horrified me to an unprecedented level: The Grudge and The Ring, the North American version. I heard their original Japanese are scarier, but to a 10 years old, that won't make much of a difference. That shit is still gonna scare my soul. So if Yukari was coming out of my TV like that, I'd rather run like hell or get a knife and stab the shit out of her for trying to terrify me. Either way, both options aren't exactly I would like to pick anyway. Number 3. At this point, you can clearly tell that Yukari abilities are the greatest when it comes to trolling people. And this list gives us some very fun and unique ideas of how to fuck with people. So we're going to see another one of Sly Yukari. Gotcha, bitch. This is where being the super high intelligence yokai like Yukari comes in handy. The good old switchero. I have to admit, I wasn't even close to thinking of Yuko being the bait. The best part is that given Yuko hungry habits, it won't seem plausible she will do it. Minus the whole using the gap part but still, a nice plan there. Definitely want this one, Yukari. Number 2. I can't be the only one to think with Yukari pissing all these people off that someone might just lose it and beat the shit out of her or something to show that equivalent. I'm just saying, 8 pictures already of her annoying the hell out of people. Well, it looks like everyone will get their vengeance soon. If Fanon has taught us anything, mess with Chan and you'll face Ran's wrath. And Foxy Girl doesn't give a fuck who you are. Even her own bloody master is gonna get the hooping of the century. Hell, I won't even be surprised if Ran went all Super Saiyan on Yukari. She totally deserved it. Chan embarrassment will not go in vain, that's for sure. Number 1. So I'm clearly not a parent nor do I want to be in the near future. I love my life being stress free. That's not to say raising kids is only stress. It's truly a wonderful thing and anyone who's doing their best to raise their children. You have my utmost respect. But I must say, Yukari has an interesting way of handling parenthood. I've never raised a kid, so my opinion may not be the best one. Peekaboo is a fine thing to do to your baby. Using a scare mask though, not a best idea. It could easily traumatize the baby. Although after seeing Ran's beam cannon, I'm questioning who really got traumatized here. Another question, why the fuck is baby blasting beams already? What the fuck have you been feeding her Yukari? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Which pictures were your favorite? Do you think it was uncool how Yukari took Chirno's pudding? Do you think Suika finally reached her ultimate form? Or is Baby Run gonna turn out to be one powerhouse? If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a like 
and subscribe or else you guys might start pissing me off. And there's not much I could do if she does so, which sucks a lot. Either way, this is Muggy and thanks for watching.